Was it some sort of Easter event? Oh, well, of course we've got the Easter event. We've also got some Good Wars Dungeon and Corporal Beast changes, which I'll get onto in a bit. But first, I'm just going to go through some quick changes, which are at the bottom of the news post. Also, I might sound a little bit different, but that's because I'm away for Easter. But I brought my mic along and my laptop so I can still record these update videos. Can't be missing update videos, man. So first, we've got here the Gold of Blast Furnace. There's a container of bars. Well, heck, we'll get some more gold ore. Just go to the Blast Furnace for us. I can dump this in there real quick. I haven't got any money. So now that these bars are cooled, well, I can, I can check them. That does something. Then if we click here, oh, we get the new interface which was given to other things. So rather than before, it would have a big ugly screen here and like a very small button to collect all your all your bars. Now you have a nice little make all interface or collect all interface. So you can withdraw for one, five, ten X or all. I'll just withdraw 18 for now. That's much nicer. You can click them a lot easier. Nice dude. So there's that update. Then there's a slight delay has been added when closing doors within Castle Wars. Um, okay. So you can't slam a door on someone as easy, I guess. And then we just head over to Fossil Island real quick. And yeah, yeah, Fossil Island. Go and mushroom tree. Yeah. Let's go to go to the sea. So when diving into Fossil Island waters here, you can now toggle it so it never asks you if you don't have uh, breathing equipment. Um, and then, uh, like it says there, once we're down here, we can talk to Mer or whatever her name is. And then to re-enable it, we could just talk to Marin right here. I'll disable the warning about diving without equipment. Yes, I'd like to have that warning again. Bam! So that little toggle exists and you can re-toggle it by talking to her. And they fixed some tiles in Varok which meant, which forced you to move to somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know which tiles they were, so I can't show you. But here's an interesting one. It's been a, a little bit of a bug for a while. So if you're equipping something that's two-handed, like this, then if you try to equip a Dragon Defender before the update, what would happen is you'd equip it, but the two-handed weapon would go to the top of your inventory. So, but now, it doesn't. So if you swap the two-hand weapon for another two-hand weapon, or a two-hand weapon for a main-hand weapon, it, they would go to the same infantry slot. But for whatever reason, if you swap the two-hand weapon into an off-hand weapon, such as a shield or a defender, your SGS would go up there normally. But no, they changed that so that it goes back to where the defender was. So that's uh, interesting. Keeps your infantry nice and um, nice and clean. Now, the Corporal Beast and God Wars Dungeon updates. I can't really show you the Corp one, but I can explain it. But I can show you the God Wars Dungeon one, so let's get on to that. So, when entering the uh, Corporal Cave, Iron Man with a combat level of 90 or higher will be taken to an Iron Man only cave so like Iron Men can only go there so that then they can't be harassed by like normal players like if there was an Iron Man killing corp in here I could run in there and just like poke it and then he wouldn't get the drop and that's a lot of effort that has just been wasted by the Iron Man. And if you're below level 90 combat and Iron Man, you get taken to the normal Corp cave, so that this one is the same one that I would go into, since you won't really be soloing Corp if you're below 90 combat, probably. Otherwise, Corp works exactly the same. Um, if you're on Iron Man or, or a normal account, uh, they work exactly the same, just two different caves slightly. This was only done because people would harass Iron Men while they're trying to kill Corp, like poking it, like I said, so they wouldn't get the drop. So this fixes it, sort of. And now God Wars Dungeon, I am, look at this gear, I am geared and ready to go. I look like an absolute mess. All right, let's go. Look at me going out buying dark bows to show you stuff. Run up in here. Let's run to Banners real quick. I'm wasting Ecumenical Key just to show you an update. Heck, I'm getting munched. No, I forgot a hammer. <laughs> yeah, hammer. Right, let me just dong this door real quick. Dong. I may have accidentally unequipped my war blessing, but that's okay. So first, let me explain. So if you're an Iron Man and you're trying to kill Bandos and you come up, get your KC, come in, probably only get one or two kills and you start the kill and you see, ah, oh, heck, Bandos has been dead. Damaged, meaning someone damaged it and then left because like um, they wanted to start a trip or start a new kill but they ran out of food which means since someone else damaged it they won't get the drop so they got to put effort in to kill the bandos that they're not even gonna get loot for but if we just turn all this on uh, and we just uh, we got a spec on our oh, heck we're getting piled uh, we just dark bow spec for fun and then we run out without dying we just put my bandos blessing back on and teleport out there we go and then we just uh, we just wait here so now if no one is in the room look at that where did where did Gradle go he disappeared and he's not on the other side of the room or anything he's just respawning so if he's damaged then no one is in the room he then uh respawns basically he like despawns as if he died and then just respawns at the normal respawn rate so uh, we, we just wait like what 90 seconds or something just to see him respawn there he is so yeah as soon as i left he just despawned as if he died and then uh he just just came right back after like a normal respawn rate so then obviously if i went in and tried to kill and didn't succeed because i suck and then i teleported out to bank and then an iron man came along he would find a the fresh Bandos and not the Bandos that I damaged so that he doesn't have to waste time killing a Bandos he won't get loot from. That's a nice little update. Now let's get out of here, I think. Now that that's all covered, we can move on to the Easter event. So you do need some items for this Easter event. We need a pickaxe, a garlic, 
uh, some burnt meat, which I'm about to burn right now, and a drain or cabbage that I'm about to go get as well. So there we go, some nice, nice burnt meat, beautiful. The last thing we need is one of these cabbages. Gimme. And I totally didn't tell you where the Easter event is. It's uh, south of Faldor, like it is most years. The Easter event, just down there by the, by the crossroads. I see a rabbit hole. Oh, you talk to Mr. Easter Bunny. Oh yes, this year's festivities sounds amazing. Oh goodness, can I jump in the hole, please? We. That was some sick jumping animation. Hello, Choco. I'm just a bunny, you're the wizard. <laughs> Alright, so we've got make an egg, and then cast a spell to make it huge. So now we've got to talk to the necromancer, which is just over here, just south. Hello, Mr. Necromancer. <laughs> Referring to the giant mole, because they made the giant mole a bit giant. Need a drain or cabbage, a burnt meat, and a clove of garlic. Well, isn't that, uh, convenient? Hey, look, I have the ingredients. Oh, what? That was just... <laughs> he just wanted food. He didn't actually... That wasn't actually what the potion required. Oh, he gave me the potion. Yes. Let's head on back to the Easter Bunny. It needs to be a special egg. Oh, of course it does. All right, first, let's mine some chocolate off the wall. I don't know how much we need, but whatever dude is going to mine Then we have to do a maze, which I've heard is awful. All right, five chocolate. I don't know how much we need, but I'm just going to get five. Dude, look, that looks so weird. Bunny man. Maybe we get that outfit after this. Ah, uh, okay, so. So down this little rope in the southwest side is the maze, I'm guessing. Oh, goodness, this is going to be fun. So I'm just going to keep going randomly into holes until I uh, reach the place I need to reach for the honey. Well, we're all lost. We don't know where to go. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> this looks promising. Yes, I did it. All right, whatever hole I just went into, that's the hole you have to get into. My favorite god. I prefer to worship, worship the lesser known deities. I like Zaros, man. <laughs> that's the original question. <laughs> In that case, Guthix. A green tier balance. Gimme. So you have to answer questions about the gods. They're quite simple. All right, now we head back to the original bunny, Choco. And uh, that goes right back to here. And there we go. Hello, Choco. I went through that awful maze of yours. Heck, we have to go back into <laughs> We have to go back into the maze to find the kitchen. It looks like going in the west rabbit hole always puts you east one. So if I go to the west one now, it should teleport me to the other side, yeah. So going into the west rabbit hole makes you go east each time. So it's south north one. Okay, it looks like south is then north one. Okay, that's quite easy. You just need to know where to go then. So to get to the kitchen, all you have to do is go to the most northern room and then go into the north rabbit hole, which will then put you in the most southern room, which puts you in this room. Then you just go across to this room, climb into this hole, and bam, you're in the kitchen. Hello, oh, this is a golden bunny. You mean something black after something red, but before something yellow. So it's red, black, then yellow. So, so first we give him jam, then we give him treacle, and then give him honey. The combination was perfect, heck yeah. Grab an egg, maple, that's maple syrup, not an egg. And then that, before we go talk to Choco, make sure you take an egg mold. Got one of those, then we go back to Choco. So we start off by going, let's get to the kitchen, go to the west one, which puts us east. Then we go north, that makes us, south, makes us go south, but, but then puts us on the north side of the cave. Then west to go east, then south to go north, which puts us at the bottom. Then we go west to go east, and then we go north to go south, because it's just opposites. And then we try to make the egg. Um, did I do it? Oh, dude, you actually need five chocolate chunks. Small chocolate egg. Brilliant. Then we just head south to put the small chocolate egg over here so that we can grow it and make it huge. Place egg, bam. Let's get crackling, yeah. Then we pour the potion over it, and it's growing. Too big? Nah, never too- oh, it fell. Oops, indeed. About that egg. Go sort it out. All right, so apparently I'm gonna need some combat, because I have to kill something down the hole, and I'm gonna need a range. I chose Guthix, though. Look at this amazing range gear. I'm assuming it's not gonna be too hard, because... It's, it's an Easter event. Now to find it. Let me let me see here. What a foul beast. Chocolate chicken. Heck. Need need rigor. Pew. Pew. Oh, I killed it. That wasn't so hard. Now I'm assuming that was a baby and not the actual thing. Alright. Seems like we go back up now. Oh no. He, makes, he, wants me to, blah, he wants me to kill the mom. Oh goodness. Let's see this beastly looking thing. Use range or woodcut to defeat it. Alright. I'll use range. Oh heck. Look at the size of that chicken. That's a big looking chicken. We're going in. Heck, it's spawning babies. Well, I haven't been hit at all, so you probably don't need food, like, at all. And I'm in garbage gear. I got him. Better get her off this. Yes, I hope so. I had to kill a big bird. It's done. Where's my reward? Oh, my reward. Yes, I do. What's this? You what? Well, I got some egg armor. That's pretty cool. Look at that egg armor. That looks awful. Awfully amazing. And two Easter eggs, and apparently I can go back down here to see something. What's going on here? Oh, no. Colossal chicken. Sorry, boys. We got this. Oh, it's nearly dead. Die, I got it. Ah, oh, what's this? Easter eggs. Okay, you kill it, you just get a bunch of peaceful hand egg. What the heck is that? Oh, a, ch a, ch a chaotic hand egg. A, cha a chaotic. Are there any peaceful eggs? Ah, uh, holy egg. There we go, I got all of the eggs. Alright, there we go. And hold an egg. Hold that egg. And hold that egg. 
Beautiful. Well, I'm never going to use those eggs, but I killed the boss anyway. That's pretty cool. So that just respawns over and over. has 3,000 health. That's a bit of fun. Want to do some max hitting on it or something? With all that being said, that is it for this week's update. But that is actually it. There's a, I've actually covered everything. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me mess around do the Easter event. Nice Vorky pet, dude. Very cute. So like I said before, I am away from home, but I brought my mic and my laptop so that I could re record these update videos still. And I have some videos scheduled while I'm away. So that's fine. Don't worry. You'll still be getting videos. And other than that, I hope you enjoy your Easter and uh, do this Easter event if you want a bit of fun. And other videos that are going to come out are basically just PVM videos which are recorded from like nearly a year ago. But they're, pretty, they're still pretty good, so be expecting them for the next few weeks. And uh, other than that, that is uh, all the updates and I will see you in a different video.